Did you guys see my little Christmas tree? Did you guys see it? This is the first, this is how, remember how I told you that like, I feel like I haven't done a makeup look? Um, this is the first makeup video where my tree comes out and Christmas is almost over. So I need to get to it, I know. Hey guys and welcome back to otro episodio with Yasmini Saguirre. We are back with another video. I am so excited for this one because we are going to be playing with some makeup. I feel like I haven't done that for a while even though like I have but not really. I feel like I haven't filmed something for you guys with makeup so we are going to be doing a look using this beautiful ass palette. Like look at this is estas lucecitas encandilan los ojos like but it's so beautiful it's holographic i know i'm like lost in the lights it's holographic and this is the pegale a las luces palette so hit the lights this is the palette that morphe collaborated with like four other um you i don't know if they're all youtubers but with four other muas so i am going to be putting their instagrams down below we are going to be creating this little holiday look I already know it's a little basic it's the traditional um holiday look but i wanted to show you guys how you are able to create it with this palette and i also wanted to just create it because i don't think i have personally created this look and i just wanted to show you so if you guys want to see that and you want to see how i create this and you want to learn more about this palette then make sure and keep on watching but wait real quick i just wanted to sh give you a sneak peek let me give you a sneak peek because it's so cute hold on Oh my god, I can't open it. Oh my god. Alright, so let me show you a sneak peek real quick. It's so pretty. I know, I know, it's so pretty. So cute. Alright, but if you want to see more and learn more, then go ahead and keep on watching. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell, rock Jingle bell swing and jingle bell swing. Alright, so first we're going in with our e.l.f. Camel Concealer. This, at the moment, is my favorite to prime. I feel like tiene como si tiene mucha cobertura. And it's just like very full coverage, very thick. And it's great for a primer. Definitely recommend it. I forgot to put a very important thing. We are going to be using a little bit of tape. So this is just regular old tape. And the reason for that is because I want a very sharp line. I know that you can always get that by using a little bit of concealer, but I just really prefer the tape method. I just feel like it just looks best. All right, so first color we're gonna take is my type. This is on a Morphe M505 brush. You're gonna see me dig back, like dig in the palette, like back and forth. And you're gonna see me stamping on the product first, and then we will go in and buff out. Now we're gonna mix Hookup and Makeup Sesh on a Morphe M514 brush. So I'm just going back and forth with both of those. So we're gonna mix them up. You don't really have to, you can just go in with Makeup Sesh, but personally me, siento como que like it gives it a little, you know, like it gives me a little bit of a different color, which is kind of what I want. But I mean, if you didn't add Hookup, it wouldn't make too much of a difference, but I did it on this side, so lo tengo que hacer over here too. Going back into my type and just bringing that color back because it kind of disappeared. So we're just bringing it back. Going in with that black shade called Till Dawn on a Morphe M507. I'm gonna take that and just place it like on the outer corner towards the bottom. Basically in a V shape. And then going back in with M514, no product, just blending.
to be completely honest with you guys because this is the first time that i use this um palette and i want to give you guys like my honest feel on how it works you know this eye came out pretty good and i didn't have a lot of issues but one thing that a tiny thing that i did notice was when i packed on the black on top of like those dark browns it's very like hard to tell because it's not as bad as like other shadows that i've noticed um, but it's a tiny tiny bit patchy right here in the center like very lightly like I can hardly see it I even had to like double check to make sure it wasn't like la luz like that the light wasn't like glaring on it But no, there is a tiny tiny patch I don't know if it's because since they're like in different sections they use like different formulas or I don't know But like I mentioned it's not too bad because I've had palettes where it was way worse they're like super noticeable this is not as noticeable but i do see a tiny bit of patchiness with the black i feel like i fixed it like it's not too bad now that i layered another like a layer of um shadow i feel like it covered up a bit it's still like i can still see it but hardly you know Al menos de que alguien te vaya a mirar el maquillaje, like, you know? Damn, that was way too close to you. Like, unless they're going to be all up in your face, which if they are, like, that's already too close, then that's the only way they would notice. But other than that, like, it's not too noticeable. And it will only bother you if you're, like, a very, like, you know? But I really don't care, so it's, like, whatever. Right now, I'm just going back and forth between my brushes without adding anything else, like any more product. I'm just kind of blending. <laughs> Look how pretty. Why is she barking? Like, no lie, it is Friday. It is Friday. It is currently 9.51. It is 9.51 on a Friday and I'm home alone. But I think everybody just got here. Who's here? Everybody's here. So let me let them settle in. Can you guys close the door when you guys get all the way in? Everybody was in Chicago and I was here by myself and I low-key got scared. Dije, ya me van a robar. Pero no. Now that I'm satisfied with the way that the eye is looking, I'm going to take some more of my e.l.f. concealer and we are going to cut the crease just halfway. So I'm going to go ahead and do that mientras everybody settles up upstairs so I can fast forward you and you don't have to hear the background noise. So now with my finger, I'm quickly taking the shade Gleam Big. It's this beautiful, beautiful champagne color. I'm gonna use it as the base on the, con the like the part where I cut the crease. So I'm just starting in the center. I don't wanna bring it out here because we will be blending. <laughs> just like that. So going into that color again, but now I am using a brush, just a flat brush, you know, nothing major. And now we're just gonna use it to kind of get in there a little bit more precisely and closer to the line. Ya sé que este look es como que muy básico, like super básico, así like nada nuevo, ¿verdad? And you might be thinking like, girl, like you got that nice ass palette and you did that simple ass look. I know, like I know, okay? But at the same time, I have been wanting to do a look like this. I know this is like the typical, ya sé, ya sé, no vayan a gritar. Ya sé, this is like the typical holiday look, you know, the, you know, super basic, ya lo sé. But at the same time, I feel like I really haven't done a look like this on my channel. <laughs> I probably have, I don't even know. <laughs> but I feel like I just wanted to show it to you guys again and it's a little bit different. And yeah, don't come for me, okay? Going back in with those dark browns, I'm quickly going to just like blend right here. Pero como les decía, like literally, yes, it's super basic, but I promise I'm going to be using this palette probably in my next video again. But we're going to be like getting into, digging into the colors a little bit more and doing something como que más dramático. 
this is something that it's wearable i know you guys are gonna use this now going in with the glitter because we want you know a little bit of like we're gonna be using the glitter flirt alert and on the same brush we're just gonna go ahead and pack it on here I want to start in the outer corner, like in the outer, and bring it to the inner. <laughs> Habla bien, mi cara. So I'm just digging into that glitter with my brush and just kind of putting it all over. But with the brush, I feel like it packs on a little bit lighter than if I was using my finger. And we don't want like a packed on glitter look. We want just like, you know, just to add a little bit to the shimmer that we have on the bottom. So, así como que bien simple, some simple, none major. And that completes the eyeshadow part of this look. I'm going to go ahead and pop on some liner. Y me voy a poner unas pestañas. And we will be back to finish up. Um, yeah, so I'll be right back. Don't miss me too much. I'll be right back All right guys, so I'm not gonna be doing my face makeup on camera like contour foundation concealer like all of that like blush I'm not gonna be doing that on camera just because it doesn't really have anything to do with the um, Palette which is the main focus of this video, but si les quería simplemente uh, enseñar me like prep like my face prep real quick just because there's one little new product in there that I wanted to show you guys that I actually really like but let me go ahead and show you so I do like to spray some Mario Badescu water first Badescu siento que como que no lo digo bien but like now we're gonna go ahead and take a little bit of pawns I'm gonna put it on the palm of my hand because it is like this is my favorite freaking moisturizer yes they agarré these little Max Glow Infusion Drops from Abino. Abin what the heck? Abino. So these are what the little drops look like. I'm just going to go ahead and you are supposed to take three little drops. It comes with a little... I don't know what it's called. Little dropper. One, two, three. And then you just rub them in the palms of your hands. And then you put it on your face. In la frentota que tenemos. And then don't forget, oh my god, my face looks super, super red. But don't forget to put the rest on your neck. I really like to add whatever I do on my face to my neck. And then to finish off my little like moisturizing routine, I also like to use this Shia moisturizer. It's from the brand Shia moisturizer. It's a daily glow priming moisturizer. I wasn't a big fan of it at first because I had bought it just to moisturize but it's really really thick and it's not really like my cup of tea I don't feel like it's really moisturizing like hydrating I don't feel like it's super hydrating but I do love that it gives you a glow so I use my pawns first and my rose water and then I go in with this this I don't like to put it on my forehead because it leaves it too shiny but I definitely like to add it right here on my cheeks my nose all right guys so my camera kind of heats up and then it stops recording so that's what happened but i was basically done i just wanted to show you guys what my like pre primer pre foundation routine is and i just really wanted to show you these little drops which i have been using for like a week now and i really really have been liking them i don't really do my makeup during the week so i haven't been using them too much but when i do like put my moisturizer on i've been putting like one or two drops and i just really like how it's been like you know making my face look a little bit more glowy and just like a little bit softer and i just wanted to share them with you they were only five dollars i got them at ross which is why it was five dollars but i know we don't have a ross here in michigan but i will link it down below um because they have a vino everywhere you know like at any drugstore so i will go ahead and put those in the link below if you guys want to check them out okay all right so yeah i am back with my face makeup everything is basically done i did my underline my underline i did my bottom lash line all i did was add a little bit of black shadow and then with a nude pencil i went inside of the waterline just to make my eye look a little bit bigger otra cosa que hice that i didn't show um, again because it didn't really have anything to do with the palette but it does have to do with the look so i want to show you i took these two um these two glitters this one is from morphe in the shade poppin it's a silver and then this one is from nyx in the shade crystal gold 
So I basically mixed these two together and I added a little glitter line on the top. I just wanted to catch you guys up. So vamos a continuar con este video. Vamos a terminarlo. Lo único que quiero hacer is put a little bit of highlight and then my lips. And the reason that I wanted to do the highlight on camera is because we are going to be digging into the palette once again. Como les dije, tiene muchísimos um, shimmers. It has so many shimmers. So I'm like, obviously, I'm going to have to use it for my highlighter. I am more than positive that I'm going to be taking a mixture of these two right here. And those are, which, what are they called? What are they called? They are called Gleam Big and Glitz On. So I'm digging into the first two that I showed you. I know you see that. So I actually went in with this color right here called Vibing. I really, really like that one for the inner corner. It looks like it's white, pero tiene como a little iridescent, like greenish, yellowish look. And that one kind of looks so cute. <laughs> look how cute it looks in the inner corner. Like, primero me miraba dormida, and now I look like hello awake. Super cute. But going back in with the big shimmers, we are going to go ahead and do a little nose highlight. All right, so for the lips, because it is a holiday look, and what is a holiday look without a red lip? We are going to be doing a red lip for this look. Como les había mencionado antes, this is super basic. I know it's like the traditional holiday look with the little gold smoky eye and the red lips, but like I have to. If I'm going to commit, I'm going to commit all the way, okay? So for the lips, I do want to go with a darker liner, and this one is in deep taupe. And this is actually a gel liner, but I'm going to line my lips with it porque no me importa, okay? So let's go ahead and get it. Pero like, I want to do like a little ombre effect because I don't really do red lips. I feel very uncomfortable and very like out there with a red lip. So I have to kind of like darken it up around the edges porque es lo que voy a hacer, okay? Es como yo me siento más cómoda. And just taking a little lip brush. Mm. First of all, I have lipstick on my teeth. Que horrible. I'm not even going to show you. Look, I'm like not even showing you my top lip because I have lipstick on it. Yeah. Good little trick. If you're going to be using dark colors, always do that. It's going to take all the lipstick from the inside out. Para que no se te peguen los dientes. Look, I'm just not like a red lipstick girl. Like, I just don't look cute with red lipstick. So there we go. I didn't even tell you, but this one is... A liquid lipstick called Striking by Milani. These lipsticks right here, estos lipsticks de Milani, are actually super, super good. They're one of my favorite lines. Like, they're one of my favorite liquid lipsticks. Um, pero sí, aquí lo tienen. That's what it was. And as you guys saw, I paired it with that lip liner. Now that I kind of, like, fixed it a little bit, I'm liking it a lot more. But All right, guys, so this is now the final look. Everything is completely done. I hope you guys really enjoyed this um holiday look yeah. we've mentioned it many times already see sí, it's un poco básico but i hope that it was a little different in some way because it is different because i did it like yasmin lo hizo mucha gente lo ha hecho pero yasmin nunca ha hecho este look on youtube okay so obviously some of the techniques are gonna be a little bit different it's not gonna be exactly the same so even if you guys have seen this look plenty of times no es este look porque yo nunca lo había hecho y nadie lo había hecho exactamente como yo okay but anyways now that we've cleared up that it is a basic holiday look i still am very proud of it i really liked the outcome i really liked the dark smoky eye because again i really don't do too much black when it comes to smoky eyes like it's just not my my vibe but i'm really liking it i'm actually kind of digging the lip is making me feel así como que not like a bad bitch like a bad bitch así como que 
tú? ¿Qué quieres? O sea, I'm just kidding. I know you guys, okay. You know, like, kind of like, it's making me feel like that. Like, it's making me feel like my face looks all the time like resting bitch face, but I'm not really a bitch, you know? I'm like, I love you guys. I love everybody. I may look like this. When you look at me, once we make eye contact, I'd be like this. You know, like, I'm really nice, okay? But <laughs> let's go ahead and talk about the palette a little bit because, you, uh, yeah, I'm already done being a ridicula. So let's talk about this palette real quick. I absolutely loved it. This is approved. This is definitely a Christmas worthy gift if you want to gift this to a prima, to mama, a tu novia, a tu tia, a tu madrina, a anybody you want to give this to, like you are a tios primos because guys are welcomed in here as well so whoever you want to give this to i am sure they're going to love it like you guys saw the inside of it i'm gonna show you again just in case you missed it but like the inside there is little categories for everyone the only category that somebody might not use like if you're a beginner is the color but i like that those are in there because if you are like a beginner then you have all these other options but then you also have a little bit of color to play with so i know that they are going to love this palette if you want to give it as a gift oh si nomas se lo quieres comprar por comprar también está bien um but yeah so i definitely this is jasmine isaguirre approved it has the little sello of Yasmin Isaguirre. Not that like you guys really care about my opinion, but I'm gonna give it anyways because I liked it. This look you can create with a lot of palettes, but the fact that you can create it with this palette as well, along with all these other beautiful colors, that should give you a little hint that it's worth buying. Um, so now the only thing that I want to do, you guys saw how I performed. I told you guys that there was only like the little patchiness that was very, very light. Not something too noticeable. Not something that you couldn't fix because I was able to fix it. You can't really see it anymore. Um, but the only other thing that I wanted to talk about since you already seen it perform was to just give you a little bit of swatches. And I'm just gonna give you whatever fits on this hand right here are the swatches that we are gonna go through the first one is glow show It's this very beautiful like orangey Look at that ready I know you guys see that Next color I want to show you is called strobing. This one is more of a iridescent like purpley pinkish one Hold on let me make sure right here you guys like i am terrible at swatches yellow say yellow say i suck at swatching but um we're gonna continue with the show let's go ahead and take hot date i'm super excited to use this one actually because let me show y'all boom okay so there it is. I know you can see it. There it is right here. Now let's go in with the one that I did in my inner corner. I wanted to show you guys that one. It's kind of really similar though. It's super similar, but this one is more in the silver like range and this one has like a little bit of yellow in it. No sé si lo pueden ver. No sé si miren la diferencia, but it's in there. Camera doesn't do it justice, okay? Okay. All right, so those were the only shadows that I was able to swatch because I told you whatever fit in my hand. Um, I just wanted to get you guys, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit more of like, you know, a little show of how these perform. Obviously, que the way they perform on your hand is not the way that they're gonna perform perform on the eyes but as you guys saw these right here they were re really good and i used a lot of matte shadows in this which the formula was pretty good um and then i love i absolutely all of the ones that i swatched honestly were shimmers i probably should have swatched a different one let me go ahead and swatch a red one for you real quick i know you Yes, I'm como soy. I say one thing and then I don't mean it. Like, I know I said I was dumb, but like, I'm not, okay? So I'm gonna show you hot stuff. And the only reason I wanted to show it is because it's a red. And you guys know that red is such a hard color to, um, to make. Especially when it comes to, like, a matte shadow. But I had... Let me tell you, that before I did this eye, I did a whole different eye. And it had, like, red in it. And let me just shut up and show you red. I'm gonna actually do it right here. 
Hold on, ready? Boom. Look at that. That was just one, um, that was just one swipe. But for some reason, I feel like these reds are kind of like the ones uh, from the James Charles palette. As in, like, they're the pressed pigments. So you kind of have to, like, press them on first and then, you know, buff out or whatever. But it's still such a pretty red. Very proud of it. Very proud of it. That was hot stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you liked the look i hope you guys loved the palette if you guys buy it if you guys go out and buy it for yourselves tag me in it show me some looks that you create or if you're gonna buy it for somebody else like just let me know if you go out and purchase it okay i just want to know because i'm a chismosa sometimes and i like to know what you guys are doing so thank you guys again so much for watching uh, make sure you hit the like button make sure you comment make sure you share this video if you are not subscribed yet please subscribe Venganse y unanse a la familia. Join the fam. Um, become part of the bestie squad here because we are best friends. Okay? We are best friends. We are automatically best friends. The minute that you subscribe, we are best friends forever. And if you just watch, we're still besties. We're just besties though. You know, we're not like best friends forever. Just besties. But join the family. I appreciate you guys so much. Every time you click, every time you watch, every time you make it to the end of my videos, it means the absolute world to me i really really want to get to get to know you guys a little bit more so make sure you guys leave some comments let me know let's see let's see let's see let's see let me know where you're from let that be the question of this video let me know where you're from just so i can get to know you a little bit more and so that i know where my viewers or subscribers are from and yeah i love you i love you so much see you on the next Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock Jingle bells,